And defensively, well, both well, teams well, have well. a down here in third. Well, well, well. Now it's Herbert. Well, well. Ah. And that's complete to Trey McKinney. The I was right there for that. Uh, he's there. Nice. The I knew it was there. Is there able to get the third down conversion? Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Stop throwing them dang routes, buddy. 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 When I saw the pressure coming at him, that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, Oftentimes, interceptions result. Turnover, Ant. We need points. We need points. Shit. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Well, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Jackson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Searching four yards here. Look at the first down. Looking left Let's side, go. he's got it complete. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Third 
first and 10, Taylor now. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll have to push forward here on second down and 11. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Second and ten. Here's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the error pass. Fourth down coming up. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Off for the field goal try, Jonathan Garibay. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Garibay's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game, and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Set at the line for this next drive. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles. They had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's got a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well in the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. They're giving credit. He tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Jackson. Mm -hmm. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Mm -hmm. And he'll have it past. 
past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. And in the run-up to this championship game, so much was made about how would this offense hold up on the road in a hostile environment. Well, that's not the definitive answer, but what a great first answer from them. That big play right there. Taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. After 1, 7 3, the score on EA Sports. Decisive run to punch it in. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score. Ravens 14. Chargers 3. Justin Tucker in the kickoff for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. Shell shock down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half, they've got to turn things around quickly. They find some open field here, and he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 44 yards rushing for him now, just his first three carries. I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then he had a halfback. He had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here. And we run this play right in the alley. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. To throw again on second down. Uh -huh. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Uh -huh. 
example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Herbert throwing again. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have got it back to a little score. I had to do it, Brock. Oh, fucking me. Hate this good snap and that And that makes it a 14 10 I had to do it, Brock. Oh, just me, Brock. Oh, deep good. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. No one just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. No mess. Center gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pick. How are you looking? Uh, it sounds like 14 10, I think. Who, Ann or him? Yeah, Ann's up. I'm really listening to I can't hear. Hold on. Let me so from the 36 now, first and 10. You might hear me echo. I just want to hear it. Right. Yes, yes. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And down oh, right around oh, the 32 oh, yard oh, line, four oh, yards on the pickup. Oh, on oh, any oh, running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide you hear, to throw you hear the ball echo because usually you have the defense nah, back on its heels. You see, I can hear it from the TV. I mean, I can hear it. You know. To throw on second and six, Jackson. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take over the I pass that. You got fucking loads on the ball. You know I can't run the ball over the net. No, no. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason no what's going is. on no, out no there. It's not just maybe the defense is no playing is. well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Nah. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. 
And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and comfortably so as he gets fouled there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out with a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Herbert. Look at that dumbass. And it's intercepted. Picked so up by Chad Davis. Nope. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, I know you appreciate seeing this great defense, especially with the heightened intensity of the post. Oh, come on, bro. I'm getting the shit cracked out of you. What are we doing? It ain't the game. My niggas hitting the shit out of me. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck. Word flip. He stole tech. <laughs> he stole the shit out of it. Yeah. He stole the shit out of it. Oh my god. Hell no, I hit that X button fast as hell. Keep stalling that shit for her, bro. I'm trying to get you off your game, pimping. Keep texting me talking about this shit. Feel funny in the league. We hitting the shit out your ass. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Jesus. I'll be like, that shit feel fine to me. Man, you gotta deal with it, bro. Me and Max just played the game. They ain't feel right on both ends. Like, yeah, that shit is. That shit is. Man. Yeah, that shit is janky. Man, he, he, he can't. He can't not come with the approach like, oh yeah, you know, like it's you or something. If he was winning, he wouldn't did that shit. He always do that shit. Oh, he can't be losing. Can't stop it, boy. Can't stop it. That man and man ain't gonna work there. That man and man ain't gonna work there, buddy. AFC title game, second quarter. Two minutes to play. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. goes the tight end. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And he's gone down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 88 yards on the ground in his first half with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Right back to him on first down. 
And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes over there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Charger drive about to get going. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Give me that dumbass! Give me that dumbass! Give me that dumbass! Give me that dumbass! But now the interception and their opponents have a chance to possibly Let me find out. Yeah, they had an opportunity no there and they weren't able to capitalize on it. That's something that could come down. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Give me that. Right, right in front of that shit. Fuck ass cover four, nigga. Fuck your cover four, nigga. Fuck your cover four, nigga. in the zone. I let him go. Sometimes you might give it back, but you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the energy, you know what I mean? Nah, it is. It's the energy. Sometimes you got that energy, you know? You just, you just throw three picks. You just throw, you throw your three picks and still be up 20. You feel me? Nah, it is. Because you just, you just like you, you locked in. You know, when you locked in like that, you got that to go. When we was giving picks back and forth, I was like, but we. We both trying to figure it the fuck out. But we're trying to fucking score like right now. From the 39, Jackson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And we're going to get a timeout. There you go. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Take the field goal, Reggie. But I'll be right back. Take this. Take this shit. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. Tucker's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. One more half 
to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. next drive and I think here with the lead CD they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead would you agree absolutely I would agree because they know the stakes they know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl and this one it's part for more they were the better team in the first half but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year and they've got to be prepared for them to fit it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well they need to stay on guard from the 39, Jackson. Now that man, Craig, I'm going to tear you up. Mess five. Mess five. It doesn't look like this. Mess the fuck five. This offense was rolling in the first half. And that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. The slot man in motion right. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and getting their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Close to a first down at the Charger 16. 119 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So I'm not too sure how many guys go to zero John Harbaugh is going to call a timeout it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter from the gun they'll try to run it a pick up a five that time and a first down. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? The lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now a first and ten at the 11. Short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And now 
Jackson will look to throw it. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Telling me to go for it, you take the three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So Jackson will head to the Ravens sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Tucker's kick is good. Damn. Yeah, that one's still early, even further. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six field goals. Oh, oh, Brandon, but six? Let's hope we don't get that and get it for these. Can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. You. Yeah. Hey, look. The Charger drive about to get going. It sound like 20 to 10. And, uh, I think somewhere late in the third quarter. Under four minutes, three minutes. You know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. I can't really hear the time, but I know Ant just took another field goal when he was in position, time to get a touchdown. I think he was at like the 20 or something yard line, like that. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Big third down right here. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. They'll try and run for it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. Yeah, I just kept waiting for the timeout down right now. Fighting for his life. The pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there, but like nobody open. Now second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. That's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Herbert. Oh my God! Quarters, come on, quarters, damn, stay there. Oh, that's number six. Where the fuck did they blow? You know what? You got it, cuz. You got it. That's my fault. In case you got fucking more to six. Garibay back out there now to send this one away. The Raven off 
defense set at the line for this next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 157 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had his problems trying to keep him contained. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Oh, he is into the end zone I was about to say, he's still running. Oh, that run game is something crazy. On this right stage, now. conference championship game, every play is magnified, mm -hmm. and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game, plus their right big now. playability. Yeah. They can strike from anywhere. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. Oh, it's 13. Oh, shit. I thought it was 27 17. How do you know the score? He just said the lead extended to 13. Hmm. Yeah, he just said the lead extended to 13. So that's a. That's a touchdown in his two field goals, which he was up mm -hmm. two field goals. He was up 10, but I thought he cut the lead down to three, but maybe not. He, he, might, he might have been up 13. Tucker now to yeah, I guess he was up 13. Touchdown. And then he scored. And then, and and then scored Craig back. just scored. I'm about to say, yeah, and Craig scored, and then he scored back. He got him in that uncomfortable spot where, like, running the ball matters, but... I ain't gonna lie, he down two possessions. He gotta go for like the Charger drive about to get going. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits. So you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down. That's good. I can like the drive and how it ended. Yeah, you know, that's and try and repeat that. that. Then can all stock shit. All stock shit. Let's go. Is. Championship tilt, third quarter of play. This is second and ten. Herbert. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Herbert off the of play action. He's got his tight end over the middle. That's McKinney. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought Alright, don't start skipping now. Now I can't fucking lose nobody. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chargers seven years in the NFL. I wasn't even in dime one dollar. What the fuck? Fourth quarter? Judy. Now he's able to take All right, it. Out to Was that fourth quarter or two minute warning? It sounded like fourth quarter. That's what it sounded like. Working with a second and three. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
Throw left side, take it in by McKinney. Whatever it is, he's trying to score quick. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert sliding out of the pocket. Why are you playing underneath that shit? Oh my god, great fucking cover. Oh, damn. Good play. They got 29 yards that time. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand. A field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Stay back there. Good shit, Craig. Good luck. Now these niggas want to be standing still. Come on, man. Y'all must move out. Okay. Come on now. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again. I was moving all game now. He's not full of shit. God, that's two passes. The third have been jumped. This shit. Oh, they jumped it, but they didn't fucking do nothing. That's a pick, baby. I see the last one. Is their drive to start at the 25. Come on, Tim. Set at the line for this next drive. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that speed. Just a yard of the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that one. They go play action now, Jackson. Aren't you dumbass? Oh, he's got a man wide open. That tight end Benny right here. He's going to be marked down just inside. Come on, put, come on, keep playing for the ball. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. How do you break the game over from there? How do you break the game over from there? How do you break the game over from there? How do you break the So the big play changes the complexion of things. Oh Here's God, first and ten just outside the 30. You would be 15 years old. Oh, oh, they give to Taylor out of the gun. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, but, while he's sitting in but, class but, and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. He is. Slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The Ravens get a new set of downs, giving 17 on that pickup. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defensive line a little bit tired. He's got him on the run. Yeah, yeah, this defense looks nice. gas, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Able to stay in bounds so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, this game's over. 
And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but it works on top. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. As we come up on a big third down. First down. Good, Good shit. Good shit. Touchdown, down, baby. Lamar. Start using those legs. So I go for two there. We're fucked up. I'm up 36-24, 2.47 left. They want me to go for two. 36-24. Yeah, it, it don't matter. It don't, don't matter. I'm confident. I'm say it don't matter. I'm confident in nah. it, yeah, but it don't. You can't you're not confident to take the one. You can't it don't matter. You yeah. got to score two touchdowns to win. Regardless, yeah, it's two touchdowns regardless. Because the receivers can't run past How much time do you say? Oh, they overturned it. Fuck. Well, that's even better for you. Yeah, it is. Chicka, 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 chee, chee. Conservative. Conservative, coach. I hope you heard me. I just thought about it. Fuck. Let me go, let me go, join me. Uh, yeah, you should have one. You should have one. Oh, he the man commits? Okay. Bitch, that one commit me inside. No go. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses. Hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Tucker with the extra point. I need another cup in my house. I need one down here. That one over there. Can I please taste that thing? I'll go buy some more of this thing. Brand new start. What the time is this? Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It's 37 minus 24. 13, coach. 13. It should be good. I ain't gonna lie. Don't give up nothing quick. Don't give up nothing quick. It should quick. be good. Nothing quick. Play your best defense right here. Charger drive about to get going. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter. This possession. I can't even make no adjustment. Time out. Burn that. So I can't even see my adjustment. Two minutes left to play Time out. football game here on EA Sports. He quick hiked me. I don't know what this is. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Here's Herbert. Now he'll dump it underneath. And it's Fumble. Fumble, my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop going to the running back. We got big hit on right now. Yeah, it's amazing. Because now. If you're an Imagine offensive game. player, you go through ball security drills every single day. Yeah, it's really play not the ball tomorrow, you draft the ball tomorrow. With you and just hold on Probably. to it. That's why we but say conservative. Is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock know it out. From the 32, now, here's first and 10. God bless you. Second and 10. I'm getting fat. Oh, you going to be good this week, man? Huh? Take it, bro. Ball, bitch. 
Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Likely put an end to this thing. Well, you know what Jordan Sutton You know what Lamar is. Oh, man. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout call if you have one. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Down to about the 22 here. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Well, who the main commissioner the old uh, man franchise on? Yeah, that is not going to get it done. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Oh, 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 third. Madden franchise on is still an ant. I'm just a commissioner. Ant's still the main one. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And all that hard work has paid off. They're AFC champions, and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, about all that hard work, all that sweat, all that effort. I'm about to get all types of I can't control my player. Let me hear the shit out of you. Huh? Let me hear the bitch in the call. It was, we were sacking the shit out of him. I took, I took that, I took Bay Bull out the game. Yeah, only thing you do is throw it to the running back. To the point I just started letting him start his sticking. You, 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 you did the strategy. I didn't do the, all all the shit. The shit you told me to do, I didn't pick those on. But what I did was I just took him away with play calling. The things I sat in took his leads away from him. And only time he saw them was in the, in, the, in the goal line. When he got to the goal line, he saw it. Saw the one route that'll be open, and he hit me twice with it. But in the, in the, when he had long field, he wasn't. He couldn't see it. The shit that will be open for him. I took every look. I took the tight end away by coverage. I took the uh, Bay Bowler away from my user and coverage. And then I I had the running back bag. But then in the second half, I let him let him throw to the running back. Only when he was throwing up the middle, like when he hook up or he run a quick out, I was letting him throw to him because I put aggressive tackle on him, knock his fucking hand off. And he fumbled. I was 80% again. I'll be fine with Phil when I play this nigga. I'll tell y'all. Yeah. Herbert, 83.4 QBR. He was 20 for 31, 260. 64%, three touchdowns, three picks. Marmar was 8 for 10, 184. Touchdown and a pick. Israel, 24 carries, 229, 9.5 yards a carry. You see the difference when you can't pick, pick the shit out? Pick my... Uh, training go off my training now nah, we doing that at the same time buddy although he still stalled said i gotta run outside real fast i already picked my shit hung up called me back all that shit he's sick right now oh my god he's sick right now Max, can I share this? 